Hello, hello, and welcome to At Home with Lucas. So today we're gonna to be talking about Barista Warrior Salted Coffee. Yes, people, this coffee actually has pink salt sprinkled throughout the beans. I'm not exactly sure how they did the process, but I do know that if you add salt to coffee, it is going to change the flavor profile. You could take a coffee you've had for years, add a little pinch of salt, five little grains into your cup, or you can brew it and it will completely change the flavor profile. It is insane. I've done it. I made a full video on my channel. So in this video, we're gonna be doing a hands-on with the bag. Then I'm gonna crack that bag open and take a look at those salted beans. After that, I'm gonna throw those bad boys over to my hand grinder because I do not want my burr grinder to be contaminated with the salt. I don't know what it's gonna do to the whole setup. I don't wanna have to clean that but I will clean my hand grinder. That's very easy and I like doing that. So we're gonna grind up those salty beans. Oh, like a salty dog, we're gonna grind them up. <laughs> then we're gonna take those bad boys and we're going to the pour over and brew up a nice hot cup of salty coffee. After that, we're gonna do my favorite part of this whole shebang, the sip test. Yes, people, I absolutely love tasting new coffee. Also, did I mention it's a dark roast? That means it's gonna have more caffeine than the light and medium roast because that is what dark roasts are good for, taste and caffeine. After that, we're gonna figure out, is this a daily, weekly, monthly, or never consumption coffee? It does happen, people, it does happen. All right, let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy right quick. So up the top, you got the BW Barista Warrior coffee lab that's very interesting this is salted coffee this company swears oh it's got pink salt that's what i have at home um, i actually made a video on my channel you can go ahead and check it out if you want where i used pink salt and i used regular kosher salt um, put a little tiny pinch you know maybe five grains of um, salt in my cup and I found it to change the coffee um, tremendously. Like it was a completely different cup of coffee. All right, let's continue down. So this is a dark roast with pink salt. I love that. Bold taste of brown sugar, dark chocolate, and caramel with a smooth finish. That That's what's up, people. That sounds like it's my cup of, cup of coffee right there. Whole bean, this is a 12 ounce bag. They did tell me that this is not their typical bag. This is what they had to throw it in for the moment. So if you do buy this from their company, they say that this is not gonna be what you're gonna get your coffee in. This is just what they sent me for this specific reason. So, all right. The aroma that's coming off of this is so powerful, so strong. Um, and it's really gonna be interesting to see how they actually put the salt on here. So let's uh, let's get into this, people. Yeah, whoa. The smell is actually very reminiscent of a, um, uh, of a Starbucks coffee, wow. Okay, so I can already tell how they did it and it's kind of, oh, this is gonna be funny. All right, people. Wow, so my hand is going to get salty. Okay, so here we go, let's get into this. Wow, first off, the beans look absolutely amazing. Um, the smell, like I said, is of a Starbucks roast, so they, they went hard on this, and they basically roasted till there were no imperfections uh, to be seen. Um, and as you can see right there, there is just salt all over it. So they literally just salted the beans, just like they say, salted coffee. So they literally roasted the beans and probably in the roasting process, I would imagine they started to throw the salt in. Now, I don't know much about roasting um, and I don't know about the process, but I would think that possibly if you you soak these somehow in a salted uh, barrel of some sort like they infuse uh, bourbon into coffee I would think that might be a little bit um, more uh, effective but I don't know like I said I don't know anything about roasting so they may push back and go nope you have to roast and salt and do something like that um, 
So it's not an infused salt, it is a direct salt. Um, and like I said, when I put salt, just the tiniest little pinch of salt, if you watch that video, you'll find out more. If you put the tiniest little pinch of salt, like six grains into your, um, your ground coffee and then brew up your coffee with it. So if you have a Keurig, you can actually puncture a hole in the top like you normally do, open it back up, put in like six little kernels into the hole and then brew up your coffee and you will get a salted cup of coffee. Um, and that works very well for people who, who get upset stomach from coffee and they just can't handle it. Um, it works phenomenally or maybe you just have an upset stomach. It can also help you out. Um, but yeah, and then of course, if you're doing a pour over, you put six little, little uh, kernels up at the top. Uh, and then pour your water over it. Same thing with any kind of brewing method and you will have a salted cup of coffee without having to do what they did. Now, this is gonna be interesting because I will be grinding up all of these beans um, so the salt will then get ground into it. So this is, this, I'm very, very intrigued. I, I, I am interested to see how much actual, actual salt is in, um, is, is in my cup. Like, am I going to have an infusion of salt or am I gonna sip it and go, that's salty? <laughs> Cause I personally am not a fan of salt. I try to limit my salt as much as possible. Um, I actually was on a low salt diet for a couple years and, and got super healthy uh, because of it, just because of the recipes that you cook are typically uh, different than your standard um, recipes, yeah. Those are beautiful looking beans though, absolutely amazing. Big thumbs up, five stars on the color, five stars on the size. These are these are the size of a Don Pablo or a Starbucks or a Javalia. These are definitely up there with the top uh, bean sizes. There's typically three different sizes. You get the small, which you can actually see over here. There is a couple, of, some of these are smaller. You get the small, the medium, and the large. Um, I would still consider these in the large range because they all look very uniform. It doesn't look like a blend at all. It just looks like some of the crop produced a little bit smaller beans than the rest. So definitely so interested in the grind test. That's going to give us a lot more information on this. We're going to be able to see how much salt um, actually has made its way uh, through the grinder and didn't get stuck on the walls of the grinder and stuck on whatever. Also taking a note that once you do grind these up in your grinder, which I'm probably gonna use my hand grinder for this, once you do grind these up in your grinder, you're gonna have to wash them out, wash it out to get rid of that salt. So this is kind of something that a lot of, um, a lot of um, uh, beer taps have a problem with at restaurants and at bars is when they put in a specialty beer it will actually coat the 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 piping and then when they go to put a regular beer in like a bud light or something uh you, you'll taste the other beer uh through that and they they've actually learned that some beers they just simply cannot put through their piping system and they can't serve it to people because of that so this is very very interesting um yeah, so I, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be doing a hand grinder on this because it's a specialty coffee. I typically do that just so that my main grinder doesn't get, uh, in this situation, all this salt and flavor in it. And, and then I have to do a lot of uh, deep cleaning on it. So coming up, we're gonna throw this to the hand grinder and uh, grind up some beans, people. Hey, what's up guys? I wanna talk about a sponsor that I have for this channel, Don Pablo Coffee. Yes, people, Don Pablo makes an amazing variety of coffee. I actually went down to Miami, Florida and modeled for his bourbon infused coffee. Yes, people, they have bourbon infused coffee. This is coffee for the people who don't even like to drink coffee. This is coffee for people who love to drink coffee but are bored of the normal 
coffees. They have single serve bourbon infused coffee. They have whole bean bourbon infused coffee, not to mention all the other varieties they have. They are a small batch coffee roaster. Now you're probably thinking, what does that mean? What does it mean? I'm gonna tell you, a small batch means you're gonna get a fresher bean. Yes, people, everything they roast is roasted smaller, which means you're getting a fresher batch. All the other companies roast in ginormous roasting contraptions, and that means you're getting it less of a fresh batch. So click the link down below, go buy some amazing coffee, and let's get back to the video. <laughs> All right, so here we go. I got my hand crank grinder. This is the LHS grinder. It is a burr grinder. It has multiple different settings. I actually did a full review on it and I've used it for a couple other A Coffee Review episodes. Um, but here we go. We're loading it up with the salty beans, people. Woo, I am so excited. Those beans still look amazing. Every time I see them, I'm like, man, those are beautiful looking beans. Just amazing. And here we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crank this up to four times the speed because I'm not gonna make you watch paint dry, people. But yeah, this, this is not the best grinder in the world. It makes you work hard for your ground coffee. Um, but nonetheless, I put in the effort. I got my shoulders into it got my back into it and man did I grind up some nice looking coffee I was totally impressed by these beans and the way that they broke down take a closer look here you can see there's not a lot of dust it's very very nice looking the color tones are absolutely amazing and once again there are no um, I did not do any edits on this portion of the video so that is true to life coloring right there um, and here we go, we're loading it up in my coffee gator pour over machine. I'm gonna talk about that filter in a minute because that is not the normal one. All right, there you go, I showed you. I put it on the medium grind, which is perfect for pour over. If you go any coarser than, or any finer I should say, than medium, you're gonna end up with cloggage. So stick with medium and you are good to go. Hopefully this doesn't give anyone seizures. It's kind of insane right now. Um, I, I thought about cutting some of it and just leaving uh, the first and last clip, but uh, I, I'm a perfectionist, so I put it all in. There we go, we're loading up even more. And this is gonna be about four and a half to five ounces of coffee to 400 milliliters of water. So if you're at home and you are doing the ratio game, that's where we're at. I know it's insane. Trust me, I know it is crazy, uh, but that is what I ended up with with this one. I was trying to get to 500 milliliters, but some of the water evaporated out as it does, and I did not take that into consideration. <laughs> so next time I try to be precise, I'm gonna put 600 milliliters into my pour over kettle and make it a boil. There we go, all right. Let's take a closer look at that salty ground coffee. And if you notice, as I show you this, you're gonna notice there's a few shimmers here and there. That's actually the salt. It's kind of hard to see and I really like the way it blended in. And this color is just unbelievable. It's truly the, probably the most beautiful looking ground coffee I've seen in a while. It is absolutely amazing. Um, and yeah, you can see in there as I'm doing this right now, there's a few shimmers here and there. The salt is not apparent, it's not obvious, and it's not everywhere, but it definitely is there. And the aroma coming off of this is absolutely amazing. This coffee is premium. This coffee smells amazing when you grind it up. Big, big thumbs up. All right, this is not the standard pour over kettle. This is actually the Barista Warrior BW pour over kettle. They sent me this out with the bag of beans and I was very, very happy with it. A full review is coming on this channel. So if you want to see that, if you want to get notified, subscribe and ring that bell to get notified. But here's just a quick overlook of the kettle. It's smaller than the coffee gator and it's made out of quality metal. It is absolutely amazing. All right, 
So here we go. We got it at 190. That is optimal temperature for pour over. That's going to give you the best flavor, the best everything. If you go any hotter, it's going to possibly scold those grounds. Here we go. So the first pour is just a soak pour. You simply want to soak everything. And what, like I said earlier, that is a barista warrior filter right there that they sent over. So that will also be a reviewed product on my channel. Subscribe for that as well. So this is a finer filter. It's a little bit different than the coffee gator. And I will talk about that in a little bit. All right, look at that. The first pour is looking good. Here we go. Dun, 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 All right, this is a dark roast, so you notice that is a dark, rich, chocolatey crema right there. That that frothiness is definitely different than the normal dark roast, and I think it's a little bit different because of the salt. Now they may say that that's not going to cause that, um, but I think it definitely does. All right, once again we are hunting for the stream. This pour over kettle maker does not like to show us that stream and wants to hide it. But I have a few tricks up my sleeve, so I will clear that out for us. All right, so here we go with another pour. Look at that crema like appearance, people. That is the cinnamon swirl, if I've ever seen it right there. I'm getting a little sloppy because this pour over kettle is, it's a different uh, spout than my other one. So I'm I'm having to get used to the the, 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 the size of it and everything. But here we go, let's take a look at that stream. Woo, that is looking good. It's looking very rich. It's got all the color tones you want and it doesn't look salty from here. No, I'm just kidding, you, you would never be able to tell that. But if you notice the bubbles around the edge, that is not standard, that's not normal. And I believe that is the result of the salt. So we'll, we'll be talking about that in a little bit as well. But yeah, this filter is so, so fine. It, it has a mesh that is way finer than the Coffee Gator, which was surprising to me. I thought Coffee Gator was the best filter, but this one may actually be a little bit more. Okay, so that is the end of the 400 milliliters of water to roughly five ounces of coffee. All right, there we go. And here we go, I'm gonna show you the stamp on this filter. That is the BW, the Barista Warrior. So this whole entire video is BW themed through and through. And that looks really cool behind that, that sort of watery glass right there. That BW is just standing out. And, and it's just, it's the subtle things with this company that I really, really like. I think they make quality products. And like I said, full review on those two products right there the kettle and the filter coming up on this channel soon i'm excited about that all right we got the coffee gator <laughs> i'm sorry we got the grand canyon mug right here we're looking for a rich stream Woo! look at that stream people wow that is exactly what you want to see once again there's no filter there's no color grading and there are the bubbles once again that is 100 percent because of the salt i've never seen that a day in my life with any other pour over ever so that is truly the salt right there and that's what you're getting so if you ever have a cup of coffee that looks like that you can pretty much guess and guarantee it is salt related and if you watch it's going to slowly start to turn into black coffee there it goes right there Yes, people. Yes, science at work. Woo! All right, let's get into this salty sip test, people. Man, that was definitely the craziest looking coffee I've seen in quite some time with all those bubbles. Wow, absolutely amazing. And the color tone of it right now is very nice and the aroma is insane. Let's get into this, people. Wow. <laughs> Holy bejesus, people. That is like jet fuel right there. Holy cow, wow. That is intense. And if you noticed, of course, I think I already probably said it, I did about 400 milliliters to um, way too many, way too much coffee. <laughs> the ratio was way off. 
So this is the most potent cup of coffee I've had in quite some time. I used to go this extreme back in the day, but now not so much. Mm. Wow, that is insanely delicious. Holy smokes, okay, let's break it down. First of all, it's not salty at all. It has this flavor profile, this complex taste that is smoky. I guess it is a little salty now, I'm getting hit by salt. It's smoky, it's salt, the aftertaste is very salty. Um, it's extremely rich, it's thick and thin at the same time. And yeah, my lips are getting extremely salty right now, wow. Mm. The first hit is bitter, and then it's smoky. There's a little bit of sweetness in there, and the aftertaste is salty. So I would recommend for people who are doing this at home, put less coffee in, which will equal less salt. So this is probably a high salt cup of coffee, not recommended for people with high blood pressure. Um, wow, that is insanely good though. It is so good that it blends all the flavors in there. Everything, all the notes are blending with that salt. They did a phenomenal job. I was very surprised when I ground up the coffee that I didn't see a lot of salt just popping around. Um, and I'm actually very surprised it made it through that fine, fine filter. Wow. Mm. Wow. Yeah, that is very, very good. It's a unique taste. It's a unique smell. It's a unique look. Um, I'm gonna have to rate this on the specialty coffee. So this is not gonna be rated with all the other coffees out there. So as a specialty coffee, I'm gonna give it a 4.9 star rating. I'm gonna say it's almost premium. It's just missing a few things here and there. But for what it is, 4.9 solid stars. Um, of course, if I get a future salted coffee, I can start to judge salted coffee. Um, I feel like a pure salty dog right now. Mm. Mm. Wow. Yeah, that is definitely a cup of coffee that's not gonna hurt your stomach. It's a cup of coffee that is very trustworthy. You can eat something extremely sweet with this and feel like you're just getting the perfect balance of sweet and salty. Um, definitely something that you could have as a morning driver. Just remember it is salty. <laughs> so if you're someone who needs a low salt diet, skip this all together or maybe run a little water through the beans and knock off some of the salt and keep some on there. Also, like I said in the beginning, you can just throw a pinch of salt into your ground coffee as you are getting ready to brew and brew it up your, yourself. So you could try this at home right now. Get your ground coffee, get your beans, break them down with the salt in them and experiment for yourself before you go out and buy a whole bag. Um, this company definitely seems like they, they know what they're doing. They definitely seem like they have their stuff together. Um, solid star rating, definitely something I'll have throughout the day as a breakup of the norm of my coffee. Um, I'll probably wake up and have this as a morning uh, cup of coffee for a little while. Definitely nice, it has a good aroma in your mouth, and it's salty, <laughs> so it's different. Yeah, buy it, drink it, love it. See you next time. All right, there you go. That's the Barista Warrior Salted Coffee. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely click to clack that like button. If you wanna join the At Home Leagues family and you wanna be a part of this crew, hit that subscribe button. Every time I get a subscriber, I get a boost to make more and more videos and it's because of you guys, I surpassed 2K. Yes, people, on my way to 3K, but I can't do this alone. No, 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 I need your help. Yes, you right there. Word of mouth is the king of this world. Tell your friends, tell your family, this guy's on YouTube, they should go subscribe and watch my channel. But as always, I thank you for watching each and every one of my videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye